Improving the quality of education is uh, a key national challenge uh, in my country. 390,000 youth under 15 years old drop out every year. To prepare a student for the employment, we need a school open on the world of the businesses. Today, school teachers ignore the world of businesses. And the world of the businesses overlook the world of education, except some donation, merely in construction. This is why I was, and I still convinced, that businesses could improve the quality of education, not only with financial contribution, but with the true engagement in school management and in stimulating entrepreneurial spirit of youth. We need to inspire students. We need to prepare them to the world of business. We need to develop their skills to encourage work team, imagination, uh, initiative, entrepreneurship. And I think only businesses can do that. When we have executives who go to school one hour a week to coach students to create and to manage small business or to manage virtual bank or to learn about uh, life skill. This is the only way to uh, facilitate their access to employment. Our concept is uh, really very innovative because we don't ask for money. We ask businesses to adopt the school. We ask them to participate in school support committee with the principal, teachers representative, parents representative, and of course the business representative, and all together they conduct uh, SWOT analysis to see what are the weaknesses, what are the priority, and they develop all together an action plan to address the weaknesses. We have uh, one company uh, succeeded to mobilize 40 volunteers. They go to school, they uh, collaborate with teachers, and they say which, which student need help. And then they do some exercises with the uh, student, and students are very motivated because they have always uh, to deal with teachers, but they have a, now somebody from the private sector with a new approach. One company introduced chess, and the student discover a uh, chess. And chess, we know that it is very important for uh, mathematics. The bridge support uh, government schools through uh, partnerships from companies, and the companies could invest, not, not only in financial investment, but volunteer work, business tools. So through that kind of partnership, uh, this government, these 300 government schools leverage and become to be more efficient and with more quality. The main uh, reason for the business involvement is because it is important for the personal development of their staff. They think that this is the best way to have managers. They have today some senior officers, some technicians, some engineer, but they, they haven't skills to be uh, managers. But when an executive come to school, for example, for four months, one hour a week, to coach 30 students, to communicate with them. It's, uh, it's learning by doing. This kind of mobilization, this bridge between companies through financial investment, volunteer work, business skills, and equipment to government schools. 
And that is really very replicable, have amazing potential to scalability and inspire other countries to do the same. The first country who will, where we will implement uh, this project will be Egypt. And uh, because they told me that they are very, it is very, very difficult today to get businesses involved. But I said, it is possible, but two conditions. We have to be passionate and we have to be contagious.